Hi, I'm Femi OK. This is Time for Nature. We are going to Oxford in the United Kingdom for the UNEP Patron of Wilderness. He's got a little bit of wilderness going on behind him, Ben Fogel. So good to have you. Hi. How are you? I there's, am there's, there's the jungle. The, I, yes. I, I've, I've brought a little bit of the outdoors indoors. I want to go back to 2018 when you were on a very famous mountain. Here's a picture of you on Everest. When you looked up at that camera, what was going on in your head? Honestly, Femi, I was thinking that bloody cameraman is ahead of me and how is he up there and how is he smiling and still working because I'm on my hands and knees. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done. And, and this is the moment I want to just, I, I want everyone who's watching this just to imagine you're in an aeroplane looking out of the window and looking down. Well, that's the same height I was at. I was at the same height as a cruising uh, airliner. And it is so beautiful. It, it actually makes me emotional now, still thinking about it. And, and it's sights like that and experiences like that, where, where your emotions are very raw, that has, I think, made me such a passionate campaigner, because I've been so lucky to see those places and to experience them, that I feel it's my job, it's my duty uh, to share with other people the beauty of these places that I've been so privileged to meet. But e Everest was a life-changing experience. How did it change your life, Ben? I think in many different ways, Femi. I think, I think it puts things into perspective. I, I think the world is experiencing its own Everest moment right now. Lockdown is having a profound impact on, on so many people in both a negative and a positive way. If we look at what it has done to us, it's made us um, think about what we're doing. It's made us think about what we want from life. It's made us respect the outdoors. I mean, you know, I, I think it, it took something like this when people were forced to stay indoors for people to suddenly realize the value of nature, of gardens, of parks, of national parks, of forests. And the same happens when you're on an expedition. When you're on Mount Everest, suddenly there's, there, there, you're you're isolating from the rest of the world and you're forced to think about things and you're forced to actually dwell on the now rather than always chasing other things. You really appreciate just what an incredible planet this is and, and, and that's what gives me the fuel and the drive to carry on with, with my campaigning and, and to try and remind the world that it's not all take. We, 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 have to, we have to give back as well. It's, it's a symbiotic relationship and we have to strike that balance. Let's talk about your can-do attitude with this picture, which has you and James Cracknell, who is an incredible rower mm -hmm. in the Atlantic. This was a, another one of your, I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to cross the Atlantic. I've never rowed before. Tell us more. What are we seeing in this pic? It was beautiful. It was an incredible, incredible experience. I wouldn't do it again. But I think that taught me a huge amount about just the, the scale of the oceans. Now, I know that sounds really obvious, but when you are a tiny little pinprick in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, thousands of miles from shore, you haven't seen another ship for weeks and weeks. That's true isolation. I've experienced isolation in many different uh, guises. And, uh, and that was one of the most, I suppose, one of the most lonely. Because although I was with James, we, we rode uh, on our own. We did two-hour shifts, two hours on, two hours off. So we had sleep deprivation, hunger. But the thing that I really discovered was uh, an affinity with the oceans. And I saw out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean plastic everywhere. This is 13 years ago, long before the, we suddenly realized what we were doing. I saw uh, plastic bottles, crisp packets, um, plastic bottles uh, from, from all over the world in the middle of that vast ocean. I think it was there and then that I decided that I was going to kind of dedicate my life to, to, to just raising awareness. I've tried to use those challenges like rowing the Atlantic Ocean as a as a novice rower who's never <laughs> never been in a rowing boat before uh, in his life and, and climbing Mount Everest when I'm terrified of heights. I've tried to use those as a, a way of inspiring people to, to think about the environment beyond their backyard. That's so good. 
Ren Fogel. Thanks for making time for nature.